Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here, hi my name is Sophia and today we are going to be doing a, another create a sim. I did want to get this create a sim out a lot earlier than it is coming out but I wasn't able to <laughs> because I have spent these last two weeks literally just focusing on school like all I've been doing is school, reading all my chapters that I need to read, writing notes on all the chapters that I need to read, even trying to like low-key get kind of get ahead so that I don't have stuff to do over the weekend and stuff like that. But you know, this week especially, I kind of worked my ass off to be able to have a little bit more of a free weekend. And so now I have, you know, an extra 10 minutes to spare. So I decided might as well do a little voiceover and also try to, you know, get this video out soon. But this creative sim, I'm actually so proud of how she came out. Like she, I think she's so pretty, number one. And number two, I think her thumbnail is like probably the best thumbnail that I've ever done, that I've ever made. So I'm very, very proud of it. Um, I don't know her last name. I don't remember her last name, but her name is Jenny. And I made her because I wanted to make a bookworm sim because I've been like so into reading that I was like, I kind of want to make like a bookworm. So that's what I did. I don't know. I think she's super cute. I love her style. I think I could have done more with her style, honestly, but I was also like distracted. Also, if you heard me crack my knuckles, sorry about that. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was a little bit distracted while I was making her because I was like watching my friend's stream and I was chatting in there while I was making her like the footage of this creative sim was like three hours even though it wouldn't have taken me that long to make her in the first place if i hadn't been distracted so yeah i think i could have done more with her style but i'm still happy with how she came out nonetheless speaking of books if you guys saw my um my last creative sim i was talking about how i've been really getting into reading um in january and i wanted some book recs for february and i did go to the bookstore that weekend and i got some um i got some books i mostly got like i didn't really get as many books for the vibe and theme that i wanted to go for for february if you don't know i wanted to go for like a very like very full of love books but also some books that were like very heart-wrenching but like all having to do with love in some way and i didn't get as many books of that as i wanted to because i got really distracted and i just started getting books that i've been wanting to read just in general so i got like i got the song of achilles which i mentioned in the last book or in the last video and then the like romance book that i got is called things we never got over if you guys have read those books let me know what you think of them but if you guys haven't read them um i don't know they're i'm i haven't started i haven't started them yet it's only the second day and i'm still reading um my year of rest and relaxation which um my friend rosie more rosie recommended to me and she loved it and i'm loving it so far i'm actually almost done with it so yeah so i just kind of had to give you all a little update on the books but i did get like a whole bunch of other books i ended up spending like over a hundred dollars on books because i got so many but it was like a book it was a book shopping spree you know what i mean and these books are gonna last me for a good while especially because now i'm like so busy with class that i haven't been having much time to read so they're gonna last me for for a while but also speaking of class this i feel like this video is just gonna be like a uh what is it called like a trail of consciousness or something like that i don't know where you just go off of whatever you think of <laughs> but uh, speaking of class i did start classes i started class uh classes last week and i didn't start all of my classes one of my classes starts next monday actually it's my fashion class which i'm very excited about um i've never like i've always been into fashion but like not as i've been getting in to fashion more and more recently i've realized that i need a creative class in my schedule in order for me to um stay mentally sane <laughs> because if i have only like uh math and biology and like just like science classes and like shit like that i will go crazy like i will like i don't know i need a creative out outlet in my classes so i decided to go for a fashion class which i'm really excited about i haven't started it yet but i'm very very excited about it and then i also have like um 
taking a psych class and a politics class and then I'm taking biology. I don't know, this this semester I'm like really excited about. I feel really good about it. I'm already being very productive, more productive than I was last semester because last semester went really bad for me. But I don't know, I'm like really excited for this semester, especially because like most of the classes, except for biology, biology was a requirement, but even biology, I like the people in my class and it's actually like turning out to be a pretty good class, but most of the classes are like elective classes and like that's just the best, you know what I mean? Like the classes that you want to take um, and you want to learn about. So I'm very, very excited about that. But I wanna hear about your guys's. I mean, if you guys are in class or in college or even in high school, let me know. Like how's the new, how's the new, new year treating you school-wise? Because, or even like if you're not in class or if you're not in school job-wise, like, What's going on? Tell me everything. Tell me all the tea. Because I don't know, like like I said, last semester was very bad for me. I honestly, I passed my classes by the skin of my teeth. I got COVID like right before finals. I hadn't like turned anything in the whole semester for one of my classes. Don't tell my mom. And, and like by the skin of my teeth, I pulled everything together in the last two weeks. And like, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Because the fact that I can do that is like crazy in the first place and in the second place, it's just like, bitch, do you really wanna be stressing and crying your eyes out because you haven't turned anything in the whole semester and you don't know if you're gonna pass your classes? Like, no, I really don't wanna do that. I feel like having such a bad semester is my motivation for having such a good semester this year or this semester, you know what I mean? Also just the fact that, like I said, like I'm enjoying my classes and stuff, but yeah, I wanna know how y'all's classes are going if y'all are in them. Um, and just how the new year is treating you just as a little like update um, now that we're kind of a month in. I don't know, the, year, the new year has been treating me pretty well so far, honestly. Like I said, like I had a really bad first week, but ever since then things are kind of like mellowed out and just kind of chill. Like, I don't know, it hasn't been, it hasn't been that bad, honestly. Um, but I do need to fix my sleep schedule. <laughs> That's one thing this month I have to do. I have to fix my sleep schedule and there's really not, there's really no other like way around it. Like I have to fix it. Also, I don't wanna jinx anything and I don't wanna like speak out of my ass right now, but I might be getting new internet soon. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I might be getting new internet soon, yeah, I might. Um, I'm hoping that everything works out, but if you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a while and you guys like follow my Twitch and everything, you guys know that um, I used to stream all the time and I'm not gonna be able to stream as much um, or anywhere close to as consistently as I used to because like again, school and stuff like that, but I haven't been able to stream ever since I moved into this new little studio apartment deal because I am, like I don't have my own internet and my stream like crashes like every like 10 minutes like it's so frustrating and it really sucks i even did like a little catch-up stream and even that was crashing it wasn't even like an hour long i don't think so it's just really frustrating to not be able to stream and like i just i really do enjoy streaming and i enjoy talking to y'all and just vibing with y'all so i might be getting new internet it might be happening you know what i'm saying um but if it doesn't happen, I'll let y'all know in the next creative. <laughs> but I'm crossing my fingers, knocking on fucking wood. It might be happening. It might be happening. But anyways, um, we are getting to the end of this creative sim. So I, again, just kind of rambled for 10 minutes. Um, it happens, you know? I feel like, I don't know. I, I, I kind of enjoy doing creative sims like this, actually. But that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little catch up rant update deal. I hope you guys enjoyed the creative sim. Her uh, download link will be in the description. And uh, I hope you guys think she's so cute because I think she's so cute. Like she's just like, so like, I don't know, love her. But yeah, if you guys use her, um, I want to see pictures just by the way, but I need to end this video, okay. I love you guys so much. Uh, I hope you guys have a good morning, evening, afternoon, and night, whatever time it is, whenever you guys are watching this. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, maybe even a little comment if you're feeling up to it. But I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.